happens. Welcome to the Devolution, a show to empower, enlighten, and entertain divas and those that love us. Here's your host, Deb St. Hilaire. Good evening in from Rady, Michigan. It's been um, crazy here. Even some schools were canceled because they, we were expecting freezing rain and snow. I don't see any. Do you? No. No. So, um, and maybe it's coming. Maybe it's coming. But if I hope it comes tomorrow and then we can all just stay home. Maybe. Okay. Everybody likes a pajama day now and then. That's one thing I can say good about snow in Michigan. <laughs> Every now and then we get pajama days. So welcome to the Devolution Show. We're live in studio and we have some really cool guests today. Before we get started, I want to wish uh, Chuck and Celeste both happy birthday. And today we are celebrating Ballet Day and Wave to all your wave all your fingers to your neighbors day so anytime anybody says the word pick a word Diva. okay <laughs> no they won't use it anytime anybody says the word food anytime anybody says the word food you have to wave all your fingers to your neighbor or if anybody walks by the front of the studio you have to wave all your fingers oh. to your neighbor <laughs> Okay? Okay. And hopefully they know it's wave all your fingers to your neighbor day. <clears throat> if not, we'll just look stupid, but, you know, that's okay. <laughs> hey, last week, if you missed it, and you should go um, listen to it, is we had the Bay City Food Cooperative women here. And it was a very interesting uh, show. Both your names came up, by the way. And, um, yes, I know, you're shaking your head. Uh, and it was a really good show, and we talked about um, ways that we can help them get more members. So I think we're going to be working on some things with them this spring. I'm excited about that. Uh, I think it'll be really cool. Uh, oh, but Ballet Day, what are we going to do for Ballet Day? We should have all... should do a little play. A little play. <laughs> a little... Wait, what is that called? An arabesque. Where a jeté arabesque, yes. <coughs> I should have had tutus there waiting. There you go. There, there thank you, you very go. much. <laughs> so we have two guests tonight. One is our sponsor, Spotlight, and one is my guest slash co-host. I'm going to have Julia, will you please introduce yourself first and tell us your name, what you do, and why you do it. Sure. My name is Dr. Julia Deer, and I'm a holistic chiropractor. And I have three offices. I have one here in Bay City. I also work up in the Thumb uh, four days a week, um, Pigeon and Bad Axe. So I'm quite busy and I'm running around and I'm doing that so that I can help as many people as possible um, figure out what's going on with their bodies and how to accomplish natural healing on their own. Um, I'm a big advocate for natural healing, so I do a lot of workshops, and I teach, and I try to instruct people on how to do it themselves so, so they're not dependent on going to doctors and, and you know, even going to chiropractors and things like that. So I'm a little bit different in the way I do things because I really want to get them independent and on their own and doing it themselves. Very good. And yes, you are a little bit different. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take but that as a compliment. that's why we love you. I meant it as a compliment. <laughs> nothing sure. but, nothing but. And who are you, sir? Um, I'm Brandon Longoria. I'm one of the owners of Third and Johnson Market and Eatery. Um, I manage the kitchen and run the menus. And you do a fine job. Thank you. And why do you love to cook? I do love to cook. Why do you love to cook? Um, I grew up cooking. Um, it was something that I did with my, my grandmother and my mother and I just always enjoyed it. And then when I was in college, it's how I paid for school. And it's just, it's relaxing. It's fun. Um, the avenues to meet people. Um, and right now I'm doing it to help promote local, local agriculture. Very, yeah. That's a really good reason. Yes. yes. Yeah. Good. We're, we, we work very hard at our store to raise awareness. Um, 
the economic effects that it can have on our area and uh, the health benefits right. that it can have on everybody Absolutely. that participates in it. Very good. Uh-oh, now Sandy's got the cough. There's some nasty bugs going around. We want to um, give a give a um, shout-out to our friend Deb Z, who is homesick, and also Juliana. Get well quick. Get well, girls. Yes. And then go, come see you. <laughs> Yeah, I can teach you how to keep yourself well. There you go. That's the important part, prevention. Yes, right. So tell us um, tell us a little bit about some, if, if a person walks into your office and they're just there for consultation, not for an adjustment, tell mm-hmm. us some of the things you do. Well, um, when they first come in, I definitely go through a, kind of a long evaluation process because I want to find out everything that's happened to them through the years. Um, I ask them about surgeries, past surgeries and past problems, health situations, nutritional problems, digestive problems. We ask them how their bowel movements are happening, what they look like, what color they are. I mean, they love that conversation, but, <laughs> but that can tell you a lot about it. Everybody a likes talking about poop. Yeah, I love poop talk. <laughs> I mean, I got four boys at home, so that comes up a lot. But um, I definitely can tell you a lot about what's going on with your general health on a day to day basis. Dad! <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Patrick missed the poop talk. <laughs> no, he doesn't miss it. He, he, he hears it a lot. Um, but yeah, and, uh, you know, so then I just kind of go through it with them. And it's funny because a lot of times they'll be like, well, why do you need to know this? Why do you need to know all this? Oh, we're Twinkies. We have the same clothes on. That's creepy, Deb. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a little bit. <laughs> oh, great minds think oh, alike, funny, lady. yes. So that's really cool that you do that. And so that takes quite a while, doesn't it? Well, yeah. And, you know, it's important to me that I listen because if you listen to your patients, they're going to tell you what the problems are. I mean, if you're not listening and you kind of have your ears turned off and you think you know, then you're not doing anybody any favors. So I just, I really try to pick out the pertinent information and then I zero in on that and I try to, you know, really filter through the information and figure out what is the big picture. Because I feel like a lot of times when we go to the doctor, either A, they're not listening, or B, you know, they're they're thinking about your symptoms and how they're going to get rid of your symptoms. Mm-hmm. And to me, it's not about symptoms. I mean, symptoms are part of it. But truly, a holistic chiropractor is somebody who deals with the whole system as, a, as one entire unit. So, there's a lot of layers to that, but if somebody tells me, you know, uh, they're having problems here and there and this and that, and it doesn't seem to make any sense, I have a way of making sense of it. So all of these different reflex points and parts of their body that hurt, they may seem random to the patient, but in my mind, I can put it all together in one big picture and figure it out for them. Right. So you use several different modalities to kind of, I I do in quotation marks, diagnose. Yeah. Because you're just trying to find out what the underlying problem to the... Exactly. I'm trying to find out what the main glitch is because, you know, a lot of times there's either a nerve impingement and that's causing dysfunction to an organ system, or it could be even a nutritional problem. You know, a lot of times people come into me for neck pain and maybe it is muscles, bones, and nerves, but maybe it's your pancreas is hollering at you and you just got to mm. listen and you got to figure out what food you're eating and you're digesting and, and that can bother the left shoulder and the left side of the neck. The right side of the neck and the right shoulder is always liver. So if it's not a misalignment or a nerve impingement, it could be your liver's angry. And if mm. that kind of stays with you in a chronic manner, then definitely your liver has to be balanced. You have to figure out what's going on with the liver, whether it be nutritional or, you know, otherwise um, mechanical, um, structural, whatever the case may be, and then fix that. You know, it's not enough to just put them in place and send them on their way. So. Right, because then they have to keep coming back and back and back and back to get put in place. Exactly, again. and I don't right. do that. I get people better, and I get them out and feeling good and on the road to good health. So, right. I have a question. Sure, Sandy. 
Okay, my husband has a nerve impingement, and it's going to do nerve damage. Mm. So he's looking at surgery. Okay. What do you think about that? Well, my first thing is, how do they know it's going to cause nerve damage? Like, they, people, you know, doctors tend to throw this stuff out. Oh, if you don't do this, you're going to end up in a wheelchair. <laughs> oh, if you don't do And honestly, I mean, I feel like that's somewhat fear-mongering, and I don't like that. I don't like when people base health decisions on fear. So I would definitely recommend, a, you know, a probably going to a couple different people to get second opinions. Um, and then always we come at it from a different standpoint. Medical doctors have their place. Chiropractors have their place. We're kind of apples and oranges. You know, we do a little crossover, but for the most part, I don't learn what they learn and they don't learn what I learn. So they can say that in their opinion, this damage might occur if it continues to be chronic and blah, blah, blah. But I can say, hey, what if we just move that bone off of that sucker and it doesn't hurt anymore? And then you get the impingement gone. You know, you've got, you've got a couple ways to deal with a pinch nerve. You know, muscular wise, is it the muscle pinching? Is it two bones causing the irritation? You know, you've got that potential for somebody to fix it rather than having to go in and surgically modify it. And I always say, you know, surgery should be <clears throat> probably your last resort. Right. I mean, you want to go least invasive to most invasive. So I always recommend that people try to get a few different opinions, try to go to a couple different types of practitioners and see what their opinions are and then filter through the information because pretty much if you go to 10 different doctors, you're going to get 10 different opinions. So you have to decide what resonates with you, what you feel you want to try, and then go ahead and try that. Um, where is his nerve located, if L5. I can ask? L5. And okay. Four, four and five are his trouble areas. He's already had surgery once. Okay. And now he's got a lot of numbness. He did go to a chiropractor, and the chiropractor said he couldn't help him. Okay. Well, that was probably smart on his part, yeah. because if he didn't feel he could help him, he shouldn't probably try. Yeah, he didn't even um, touch him. He just kind of did an x-ray and he did talk he was like whoa and, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i never shy away from that because honestly the surgeons are amazing like surgeons do this all the time every day so when somebody tells me you know i've had surgery and you know it, it went well but now i'm starting to have this pain come back i'm starting to have these other problems i really always in my heart of hearts say well it's not the surgery it's not where that happened because more times than not, it's something happening further down the line. Mm. So if, if they do surgery on the lower spine and it's good and they, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time, they, they do a good job, then I don't even deal with that part. I say, okay, well, let's look at the ankle. Is he walking crooked? Is he causing a nerve impingement from the bottom up? Maybe it's not coming from the top down. Maybe it's coming from a different spot. A lot of times, especially with like sciatica or nerve pain going down the leg, it's either the foot, the ankle, the knee, the hip. It doesn't necessarily have to be coming from that L4, L5 area. So I just, I look at everything because I adjust everything head to toe. By golly, if you come in and you need it on your big toe, your big toe's getting it. Okay. If you need your ear pulled, your, ear pu your ear's getting pulled. <laughs> okay. You know, something's okay. happening. <laughs> so information. I, I like that. Yeah. And that's really what I mean by holistic. Holistic to me is whole body. So um, I'm not talking about supplements. I mean, I do give advice for nutrition and supplements, but I don't sell those in my office. So the reason I don't pretty much, is so that you understand that if I give you this advice, it's because I really feel like you need it. I'm not trying to make a buck. So I don't sell anything. I tell you what I think you need. Um, I do that through kinesiology, muscle testing, things of that nature. <clears throat> we come to some sort of uh, meeting of the minds, and then uh, I let you go ahead and go purchase that wherever you want to purchase it at. But, um, you know, there's so many things that could be bothering that. Which side did you say it was on? I don't know. Okay, because like if it's on the right side, it could be his bowels. You know, if it's on the left side, hmm. it could be his kidneys. I mean, these organs, they refer well, pain all the time. He have prostate cancer too, 
so maybe that's something. Well, to I mean, there's some considerations to be made. So absolutely, I would recommend multiple opinions and probably checking out a holistic chiropractor. Okay. You know? that sounds Name like plan. Julia. Named Julia. <laughs> <laughs> and where, where's your location? Um, I'm in actually, the building I used to be in downstairs. Yeah, oh, you stinker. Funny? We decided we're going to be the same person, just like at different times. 